Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Crooked Man. I believe we are on part three now. Uh, oh crap. Last time we left off, we were, uh, at this abandoned hotel. And I'm gonna read this sign. A faded board. Hotel Ruhenheim. Giving you a serene stay. More like a haunted stay. And let's go in. Can I leave? Wait, what? I'll look around here a little more. But I don't want to. I need to register myself into the hotel. A hotel register. Write your name down. What are you doing? Alright, let's go in here. It's locked. Okay. A clock has stopped. A landscape painting. Staff room. Staff only. There's wire around the doorknob. What the? Just take the wire off. Alright, never mind. I don't want to go upstairs yet. Oh. 107 to 107. Kill is painted over. Kill is painted over. Kill is painted over. Ooh. I can actually go in here. There's something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Me. Dear mom, dad. Okay, there's a bunch of white scribbles and a crown. <coughs> and some stars. Okay. Treasure hunt. I guess some kids staying here drew this. Haha. Uh -huh. Sure, I'll look for your treasure. Bro, I'd make this my house. Because it's abandoned and look how nice it is. Well, maybe this is the only a nice room in the hotel, but you know. Okay, we'll pan it over. Uh, staff only. It's locked with a passcode. I thought this... The scene... The the way the doors are in this game, it, it doesn't look like there's passcode and there'd be available passcodes, but <coughs> Alright. Is there another sign? Yeah, I guess so. One oh eight to one fifteen. The kill is painted over. Walked. Painted. 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 It's locked. Painted. Alright, so Mrs. Hotel is, uh, rooms that you can't even get into. Like, what the crap? Oh, jeez. Big dining room. Is there anything in here? Wait, this, this looks a lot like, uh, that, uh, drawing I found earlier. Uh... Can I look at that photo again? I guess I'll just check every table. That's alright. There's not that many tables. Oh, something on the table. Alright, cool. Found a gold key. There's a paper beside it. You found the treasure. Congrats. Thanks. Even though your parents should have found it. How come they didn't do your treasure hunt? Guess they didn't have time. Okay, this is like a uh, lounge. Today's program, Schubert. Three piano pieces. Can I play piano? I'm actually uh, not that bad at piano in real life. Uh, you guys probably don't believe me because I'm 14 years old, but, you know. 14-year-olds <coughs> can be good at piano. Uh, just watch your lie in April. That'll prove it. 201 to 206. Pen over. Painted. Okay. Finally, everyone can go to. Oh! My. Seriously? <coughs> Mirror cracked and scared me. Sorry if I clear my throat a lot. Jeez. My my throat is. <coughs> it's ready to crap out. Maybe it's because I'm talking so much. It's really dark outside. There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. Found a notebook scrap. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. Well, the reason he said it's only emptiness is because the hotel is abandoned. Like, what the so he got dumped, huh? But no at home did mention that. 
at her special place. He came here with her. <coughs> Where could he be? Well, I'd assume that he's in the hotel. The shelves are empty. Okay, nothing in here besides that notebook scrap. Painted. Painted. Door is locked. There's a notice on the door. Due to employee and... <coughs> Incompetence and lost keys. The library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Use the gold key. Oh, okay. I didn't even know it's for the library. The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Well, there's a key. Got the key to 109. Okay. Is this just for me? Alright. <coughs> Cora brought me a cup of milk. Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? Well, yeah. You don't get to decide that. What the? It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe that you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff you out. Sniff it out. They will be lured by your kindness, and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. How old is Paul? Oh, why did I stop? What the? That sound. I didn't hear anything. You guys probably didn't either, because there's not really sound for the game for you guys, I don't think. Am I going to find any books? No? Okay. I'm going to go check out that sound. I hear someone running. Is someone there? I don't want any. Over here. Alright. Can I run? Oh jeez. Why did that scare me? I All I did was open the menu. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue searching then. Okay, let's paint it over. Paint it over. That's locked. Paint it over. It's locked. <coughs> D didn't I get a key for like 109 or something? Yeah, I did. Alright. Let's go find 109 then. I think it was over here. Yeah. Alright, so it should be here. Unlock the door. Alright, looks like the bathroom. Shells are empty. There's something up there. How do I get up there, though? Can I, like, push one of these chairs? I can! Now I can get what's on the dresser. You sure can, Mason. Got wire cutters. Why were there water wire cutters just sitting up there? I hear piano music. Sounds good. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it sounds good. It's way better than I am. I mean, I'm good at piano, but Jesus, this, this is like Mozart kind of crap. Oh, gee. Why did David run? Who's there? He scared me just by running. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I just came in, and, and the piano looks so nice, so I am um, sorry I yelled at you. I'm not on staff for the hotel or anything. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a voice for her or him. I'm gonna do a girl. Who are you then? Oh god. I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh, Sissy. Then what brings you here? Could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important. So I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies. Oh, if I find it, then I'm going to steal it. No, I'm kidding. But I'm not leaving until I find it. Right, well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Bye, Felicia. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. 
It's because you are. You're the one with the haunted apartment. Alright. What did I get from that room again? Oh, I got wire cutters. Okay. So now I can probably go into this office. There's wire around the doorknob. Cut the wire with the cutters. Yay. Alright. Full of miscellaneous. Blah, blah. Trash cans full of crumpled paper. Journals. Alright, there's a book here. A notebook. <coughs> Jesus, squash me. Door in room 107. Bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Got the key to 107. There's no doorknob. I hear something. Is that sissy already? No, that's not sissy. Somebody walked in there? I should find some way to open it. I don't think that's a good idea, buddy. Owner's room. Maybe the owner is just living in there and he's like taking a nap. Alright, so, uh, what key did I get again? 107 key. Alright. That's a high pitched noise, is kind of loud. Oh, crap. No. 101 to 107, so it'd be all the way down here. That one has a passcode, so it'd be here. Unlock the door. Okay. Shelves are empty. Dresser is empty. Oh, okay. I can actually go. The door has no knob and it won't open. A doorknob. Oh, yeah. That journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm. Maybe it would work on that door without a knob. It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Got a doorknob. So I'm going to go and uh, <coughs> put the doorknob on that uh, owner's o office door. Because it didn't have a doorknob, so. <coughs> oh god, I'm scared. Attach a doorknob. Oh god. Oh, okay. I should have saved. But I'll, I'll save right here. It's okay. There's nothing going on right now. Wind with novels. Wind with tourist and phone maps. Wind with books about hotel. Book of the Month. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's a good book. I've never read it, actually. I've, like, seen a movie or something. A phone. There's nothing on the shelves. Small door which won't open. Doesn't seem to have any lock. Well. Wait, do you see that? Why is the tile, like, much brighter than uh, any of these? This tile seems a little loose. Oh. Okay, cool. St stomp on or do nothing. Usually when there's decisions here, that means that there's... Something important about to happen. So I'm going to stomp on it. Okay, what happened? Did this unlock now? Oh, it opened. Was there a mechanism on the floor? There's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe you should check this out. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure that's a good idea if it's like pitch dark. I can't see a thing. I need a light. Okay. Um. Oh, I have a lighter. Oh. Lamp oil. Okay, I'm gonna save because I really don't want to uh die down here. Filled uh, unused equipment, miscellaneous goods. Uh, oh. Do you see that? There's a uh, shadow figure down there. I'm gonna check out other stuff before I talk to him because I don't want any. Alright. A figure crouches on the floor. Uh, are you okay? Were you locked in here? Oh, j oh my god. Ooh, art. W what? Are you okay? Whoa. Oh god. Ah! Oh god. Oh jeez. What? What? Stay back, don't come near me. Oh god, climb! No! Crap, let go, let go. Oh jeez. I don't want any.
pant gas pant. What was that? Its neck was all crooked. It can't have been human. Maybe it's a crooked man. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it could have been real. It couldn't have been real. I must just be seeing things. I'm, s I'm just so tired, it's, is all. Erg, I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? What? He, j he just threw it off again. Oh my god. Can I? I'd rather not. Well, can I lock it or like put this couch over it? Because I don't want him coming for me. Alright. Fine. Stupid idea, but let's go. I guess we're going to go find Sissy. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, jeez. Alright, that's that bathroom. Okay. Um, let's go up here. J oh my god! Was that sissy? Gee, oh, why did that scare me? Oh god. What did she do? What the frick happened? Sissy, what happened? I, I went into the window and the floor gave way. W what should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. Uh, n no, I can't. I I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. A gap this big? Actually, it's not really that big. And Plus, I can catch you. And there's no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble quick. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ack! Oh! Ch what? Th that was too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? <coughs> Man, I'm such a wuss. Sissy? Aw. So scared. I was so scared. She's crying. Make her feel better, David. No more. I, I don't like the dark. Why do I... It's okay, Sissy. I'm sorry. I know you are scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. Relationship confirmed. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you're looking for? No, not yet. I wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you're looking all alone. You can always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present, or... It's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Oh man, no relationship confirmed. <laughs> Sorry, David. Oh, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it, too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about him? Or, er, well, I don't know that much, either. Just like he's a man about my age. Huh? You know what, what you know that little about the person you're looking for? He <laughs> he, you're a strange guy, David. I am not. There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know how he looks because um strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. Hurt badly is in dead. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Yeah, in heaven when we die. And that's a perfect spot to end this episode. If you guys enjoyed, then please leave a like and comment down below what other kind of videos I should make. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.